Hello, my friends. My name is Jeremy. I'm going to read from the Bible, the Word of God. I'm going to read Hosea 10. So turn up, listen up, and focus. This is the Word of God. All right. Israel is a luxuriant vine, luxuriant vine that yields its fruit. The more his fruit increased, the more altars he built. As his country improved, he improved his pillars. Their heart is false. Now they must bear their guilt. The Lord will break down their altars and destroy their pillars. For now they will say, We have no king, for we do not fear the Lord. And a king, what could he do for us? They utter mere words. With empty oaths they make covenants. So judgment springs up like poisonous weeds in the furrows of the field. The inhabitants of Samaria tremble. For the calf of Beth Aven, its people mourn for it. And so do its idolatrous priests those who rejoiced over it and over its glory, for it departed from them. The thing itself shall be carried to Assyria, to tribute to the greatest king. Ephraim shall be put to shame, and Israel shall be ashamed of his idol. Samaria's king shall perish like a twig on the face of the waters. The high places of Avon, the sin of Israel, shall be destroyed. Thorn and thistle shall grow up on their altars, and they shall say to the mountains, Cover us! And to the hills fall on us. From the days of Gibeah you have sinned, O Israel. There they have continued. Shall not the war against the unjust overtake them in Gibeah? When I please, I will discipline them, and nations shall be gathered against them, when they were bound up for their double inequity. Ephraim was a trained calf that loved to thresh, and I spared her fair neck, but I will put Ephraim to the yoke. Judah must plow, Jacob must narrow. For her, no, Jacob must harrow for herself, himself. So, for yourselves, righteousness, reap steadfast love, break up your fallow ground, for it is the time to seek the Lord, that he may come and rain righteousness upon you. You have plowed inequity, you have reaped injustice, you have eaten the fruit of lies, because you have trusted in your own way and in the multitude of your warriors. Therefore, the torment of war shall arise among your people, and all your fortresses shall be destroyed. As Shalman destroyed Beth Arbel on the day of battle, mothers were dashed in pieces with their children. Thus it shall be done to you, O Bethel, because of your great evil at dawn. The king of Israel shall be utterly cut off. That was Hosea 10, the word of God. All right. God loves you. May peace always be with you. See you.